Great commitment from both teams. Players, bodies flying everywhere. Burn Jones feeling the tackle from Murphy. His pressure has been a highlight tonight. Back in this Adelaide team. Two minutes 25 now. Some players almost coming to a standstill, but got to find a way forward. Drew Hinge was right under him. And despite the pleas, it's another ball up. So Port Adelaide have an extra forward up here. They've actually only got two inside their forward 50, trying to open up their forward line. Oh. And do that, win a, win a clearance, win a ball, and see if they can get a stop play here with another mark. Oh, no. Oh. That's the third one that's presented, gifted a goal to Port Adelaide. The third, and from an Adelaide point of view, most devastating. Rochelle cannot believe it. A young man who's done so much in two games is now feeling sick in the stomach. He has to stand back and watch the most experienced of showdown players, Travis Boak, who's just about seen and done it all. Go back with two minutes on the clock. The will of the crowd is against him. Travis Boak, that stare. Putting the crowd out of his mind. All he can see is the path to goal, but he can't find it. It's left, and it's left the game alive for Adelaide. Well, they've been the worst, well, the, the most inaccurate side this year over the first two weeks. They're proving it again today. Opportunities to really put Adelaide away. They haven't taken them, and it can cost you the game. Perfect scenario for the Crows. They get the ball back now with a chance to win it with a late goal. Free kick. Crows free. Frampton against his old side. Blasts it forward. Himmelberg's up there. Can't take the mark. McHenry can't crumb it. In that congestion, big ball to win. Himmelberg wins it. Threads a handball through the traffic. Land court. Just got a kick away. Murphy court. Just got a kick away. Jones has got it. He's hammered. Ball comes to Keys. Kicks around the body. Can they get a mark? Rochelle back the other way. McKenzie could be a game saver for Port Adelaide. Oh, wow. What a mark from Trent McKenzie. Battered and bruised for the first two weeks. But is showing his supreme confidence. Takes the short kick to Houston. 44 seconds. It will feel like an eternity now for Port Adelaide with so much on the line. Houston rockets it up to the wing. High ball over the top from Dude. Crows have just got to find a way to get onto the footy and release it somehow. Complete opposite mode for Port Adelaide. 25 seconds. Ken Hinckley can barely watch. Port well, players swarming back behind the ball, Hutto. Sweat dripping from their faces. Over the top, O'Brien. Laird caught in the crush. Got it loose. Houston's been magnificent. Edges it forward. But here's a chance. One last chance. Billy Frampton comes alive. Goes short. Hinge. It's a good-looking kick. Almost for Shelley. Murphy. Oh. oh. He, he did. It's going to be after the siren. And reported as well. So it was Marshall and Mays that pushed down behind the ball to get numbers deep in defence to make sure that they couldn't score the winning goal, the Crows, and that was just unnecessary. It's his I mean, first game back after neck surgery as well. This is a big moment for Murphy and his health. Yeah, let's hope it's OK. Yeah. That was just a, an ugly challenge because the ball had spilled out. He hadn't that controlled the possession. All Mays needed to do was sort of run with him and make sure he forced a stoppage and they get home. Who's hovering to take the kick? That's the other thing. Yeah, Jordan Dawson's not far away. Oh, they hit him in the body. Yeah. It wasn't a head shot. It was in the, in the body. So the, other, the other angle shows it better. It's a swinging arm in the body. He's holding his neck, though, so maybe when he, the the ground, yeah. when he hit the ground, yeah. perhaps. Well, Jordan Dawson is the perfect replacement. I was about to say, hello. Get your good kickers queuing up to take it. The most extraordinary, captivating drama is going down to the last. Jordan Dawson, in his first showdown, has 
the game on his boot. There's nothing the coaches can do. It's only one man.